All right, so I met with somebody this morning where I drove down to Salt Lake and looked at their house. And this is a gentleman who lived right next door to his dad. And his dad recently passed away and he wants to move into dad's house, but he has to decide what to do with his own property. Okay, so his dad's house has a reverse mortgage, which he's gonna sell the house that he lives in to pay off the reverse mortgage and move into dad's house basically free. But he still has the challenge of what is his house worth and how quickly and easily can he do it so he doesn't have to stress and everything like that. That's why he called us. So I went down and had a conversation with him today about a few different things, but one of them is what is your house worth if you sell it fast to somebody like me versus if you decide to try and sell it yourself and get a little bit more, okay? Now in his situation, this house was built in 1958. They've never done much of a remodel on it other than that they, they, they closed off a wall and moved a doorway in, in one of the bedrooms and turned it into more of a music room instead of a bedroom, okay? So other than that, this house is almost original, 1958 in a, in a downtown neighborhood of Salt Lake City. So we looked at the comparables, what houses have sold for recently around his neighborhood. And I told him if I was going to buy your house, I'd probably need to be right around $220,000. If you were going to sell your house on the market as is, now remember, this is without spending any money on a remodel and without, um, without making any repairs, just moving into dad's house so the house is empty. So we looked at for houses in that condition, they typically sell for anywhere from about 245 to 265. 245,000 to 265,000. So if we run those numbers backwards a little bit, this is almost exactly how our appointment went. At $265,000 minus agent commissions, closing costs, buyer's closing costs for the buyer to be able to get their loan done. If I remove those from the equation, he comes down to a number that's closer to about $238,000. So from where my price is at 215 and what he might be able to sell it for at 238 net if he lists it and gets the price higher, then he gets to make the decision is it worth the trouble of going to a listing, dealing with repairs on the house and hopefully not having to make any repairs to the property because we want to sell it as is. Okay? Now Based on what happens there and how that, that opportunity goes for him, he gets to decide if he wants to do it by listing it or if he wants to just sell it and be done. I'm okay with whichever way he chooses. I'm even okay if he doesn't use me. But what he got to do is for 30 minutes, we sat down and we looked at all the houses around his, what his is actually worth, and gave him all the tools he needs so that he can decide. Right now, it's this afternoon, I don't know which one he's gonna do because we're not a high pressure team. We don't come in and make somebody sign and bring paperwork and you know force you to do anything at all. We're here to give you tools so that you can make a decision for what works best for you and how we can help that happen. So I'd be happy to come and take a look at your house if you're willing to have me come over and talk.